Right, welcome back. Let's get all the silver coins in this area. We'll start Whale Bay, because, you know, get the favourite track out of the way with. I want to say it's my favourite track. I'd probably put it second. There's a track much later on that I actually really enjoy, and the soundtrack itself helps as well. Well, there's one. Missed that one at the start, so I don't worry about that too much. Uh, there's another one. There's another one. And another. Oh, did he? Well, I guess we'll, we can look at this side of the track. Oh, I actually need to come here as well. Okay, good. Uh, missing the first one still, and I think that's all. Yes, yeah, so just the first one. So, do you want to go coins? Uh, silver coins? Oh, did he? My. Why? Right, let me just get a lead up. So I can just grab that straight away without anyone bumping me out of the way. There we go. As I said, I was hoping I didn't miss that. So these ones aren't particularly too hard. Uh, a little more simple than the uh, the previous levels. At least as far as I can remember, none of these were particularly tricky. Although I might have said the opposite in the previous thing, I can't remember, but yeah. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any of the others that are like really challenging. Crescent Island. I like this island. I like this as well. Both levels I like actually have got a Crescent in. There's a silver coin just there. I think it's in the shortcut. I believe there's one in that tunnel as well. If not, there'll be one just outside it. Right, one on the right here, next to some bananas. One just here. If you want to grab that one and turn, you can break. Oh, I think I know where one is that I haven't shown. Okay, well, we'll go there next time. Right, I'm pretty sure there's one in here. Yeah, there you go. Now you're thinking that I've gone through the old course and there's uh, one missing. This one's in a bit of a sneaky location. Uh, I kind of feel like this is what they wanted to do with Whale Bay, but they didn't give you a chance to, so... You go here. There you go. Not really much of a shortcut. Uh, kind of could have done with making that a bit more, you know, fluent to go down. Fluid is what I should probably use to go down. Uh, it's something like Daisy Cruise on Mario Kart Double Dash as well. It's not like the most, uh, it's a shortcut for sure, it's an alternate path, but it's kind of designed in a way where you have to slow down to take it, and then there's no point in taking it because you've already slowed down. So whilst that's a pretty cool little cheeky thing to hide, it's not great as in terms of, you wouldn't use it in an actual way. There you go, managed to do it without even having to break. As again, I don't remember any of these being harder than the ones in the snow levels, so we shouldn't really be struggling too much. So a lot of hovercraft levels in this area, and I don't mind that because I feel like if you're on a beachy sort of island thing, I feel like you should have a lot of hovercraft levels. Oh, did he knock me out of the way again? I was going to go for that one over there. We'll get on the way around. So when you go through these silver coins, always take a lap or two to try and uh, just get them. You know, you don't need to worry about being first. As long as you've got enough competent skills in this game, uh, you should be able to make it through fine. I missed another one there, but we can get on the next lap. So we just missed the one at the start and the one right near the end there. 
So we got we got seven. Almost. Don't boost into a wall like I did. You know, it reminds me of Lego Racers in terms of uh, nostalgia. I used to play that game a lot as well, and playing it again recently, I don't know how. The controls are so... Oh god, I've got to get on this. So stiff. The turning is really bad. Like, There's not really a drift. Uh, the boost power-up's kind of broken, because it, it works on a similar thing to this game, where you get three boosts, where you get a boost, and you can get these little white bricks that basically just power up your... Uh, item usage so they but their, their boost is broken uh, let's grab this. Uh, it literally warps you ahead uh, like a percentage of the track so sort of like a bullet bill except you go there instantly and the worst part is if you like turn if you come out on a corner it's not going to turn you to face the corner you're just coming straight into a wall so there was a lot of good N64 car races, uh, but I think this one was probably the best one. Also, whenever he says that, he says treasure caves, not treasure caves, and I, especially because this game was made in England, I always find it weird. And you'll notice that some tracks share the same music, and that's not too common in the game, but you'll definitely notice some of them do. Oh, Octopus is next, isn't it? Not looking forward to the second round. You'll see what I mean by it being super annoying. That's one of the few times where I think I actually I'm, I'm actually going to have to cut. Just because it's going to take ages. I'm not really consistent at it at the best of times, and obviously I don't play this game like every day. I play it like I try and play it like once a year though, because I do actually enjoy playing this game. So it wasn't until 2013 I really beat this game, so I never really bothered. Like I, I struggled for AIDS on the first Wiz Pig, and uh, kind of gave up for a bit. But there was always a part of me that wanted to just beat him, so I tried. And one time I just managed to do it. I was really happy, so. So I like kind of playing it as a tradition. Alright, there we go. This has actually been a pretty simple one. If I said at any point these were tricky before, I was probably just not remembering. I definitely won't be saying that about the next set of tracks though, because they are pretty tough. Uh, silver coins especially. And I'm blitzing this out in record time, so I might actually have to... Uh, combo some of this stuff together. I say I'm blitzing out in record time and I've just realised what boss I'm going in against. So if I, don't, if I do this first go, this should only take me about 10 minutes. So yeah, that's another part of the Wiz Pig amulet. And this might take a bit, so... Don't have to bail here. And if I stop talking at any point, it's not because I have run out of things to say, it's just that I have to actually concentrate. Oh, we got the good start as well. Okay, good. Oh, come on now. Okay, we've not lost yet, but... Okay. I can't believe that went forward. Yeah, you've got to be really careful, because these bubble things are actually horrible. Ah. Uh. I kind of don't want to get hit by one, so I might restart a bit. I also want to get the blue boost. Ah, uh, you know what, I'm going to go for the uh... And I didn't even get the missile. And Jesus Christ, that is such a well-placed bubble ball! Okay. Okay, game. That bubble was really well placed though. It's like they know you're going to go around the outside, so they put it in the, the most awkward angle possible. Oh, come on. Bouncing off the wall really messed me up there. Yeah, 
nothing even stopping them. Oh my god, triple bubbles. You know what, let's see if we can get this one. I might try and go for the 10 missiles. Oh, that wall. What a block. Oh my god, I'm just gonna need to rapid fire these, aren't I? Oh my god, my accuracy is garbage! Yeah, oh. If I'd hit at least like two of those, I think I would have done that. <sighs> Maybe that is a good strat though. I'm just gotta dodge the bubbles, I think that's the main thing. Because uh, look, they, they kind of hover above the. Uh... Oh my god. Homie missile definitely will heal. Good racing, we should have to catch up with there. Okay, right, we got this, we got this, we got this. I hope. Oh my god, not like this. Hopefully, hopefully, looks like we're going to be a bit of a leader. Not going to bother going for the missile, I'm just going to get straight forward, and there we go. Whew. A lot faster than normal, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Four pieces. Soon I'll be ready for Whizpig. I don't think so, game. I think the Whizpig part's gonna be like longer than most of the other parts combined. Alright, well there we are. That's all of Sherbet Island done. And then I'll see you next time. <laughs>